it's so exciting to help the NHL celebrate 100 years of the National Hockey League. And it made us think about some of our own Dallas Stars players and what some of their oldest hockey memories were. We sent Owen Newkirk into the locker room to find out. Thanks, Julie. Tyler Sagan here, one of the players around the NHL that fans everywhere grow up, idolize. So we thought it'd be fun to talk to some of the current Dallas Stars coaches and players and find out who their hockey heroes were when they were little growing up and some of the experiences they had maybe their first NHL game, find out why hockey hooked them. Do you remember the first NHL game you ever attended as a fan? Uh, where was it and how old were you? I think I was uh, I was on a hockey tournament trip in Colorado, and uh, I think it was yeah I was in anyway, somewhere in Colorado, and we ended up staying a couple extra days going to a uh, Avalanche and uh, Canucks game. I always remember that. I don't remember it too well. I was pretty young when it happened, but it would have been in Vancouver back at the old Coliseum. For some reason, I feel like they were playing L.A., but I'm not too sure on that part. I just thought it was around Christmas time, and I went with my dad. I don't remember exactly the first game, but my dad uh, did a good job of uh, trying to get me down to Maple Leaf Gardens once a year. So uh, we'd, you know, sit up in the grays and uh, watch the games. If I was sitting on the bench there today, I'd be able to kind of point out which area we were sitting right in the corner. I'm not sure what side it would be, but you know, across to the right. And we came over and um, played a... Uh, Phantom tournament uh, outside Toronto. I think we were 12 or something like that, 11, 12. And uh, I had the opportunity to go to two games. I, I don't really remember which one was first. There was one game in, in Buffalo. Um, I think they played Chicago. And there was one game in Toronto. I can't really remember who they played against, but, but that was uh, uh, the first time. Gosh, that's so long ago. <laughs> I think it must have been the... Uh, California Golden Seals, like, uh, oh my gosh, <laughs> that's a million years ago, but uh, yeah, my dad took me to the game, and it was fun. My first, you know, real moment of being a fan, I probably remember, I, I won a contest through Wayne Gretzky, uh, he had a Coca-Cola contest, and I got to skate at uh, Maple Leaf Gardens, and Walter Gretzky was there running the camp, so it was uh, probably my moment where I got hooked. Every year for my birthday, we used to, we had a deal with um we drive into calgary and we'd stay at the sheridan there and you get two free flames tickets if you got like night at the sheridan or something so for my birthday every year we do that going to the maple leaf gardens was something i looked forward to and um you know we weren't able to get to a lot of games so when i did it was a, a big moment for me and um you know I, I was lucky enough that my dad you know did all he could to try to get me down there as much as he could but um there are memories that i'll never forget in junior days uh we used to go a lot to the vancouver connect games and uh got a chance to see my favorite guy uh, guy kind of patted myself around as uh, paul holmgren for the philadelphia flyers and got a chance to go see him and then years later i had to line up against him and it didn't work out so good. <laughs> you know, I think my dream was always to go see a, you know, Toronto Maple Leaf game growing up in Canada, and it was, but uh, never got to one of those. When you were growing up, did you have any particular players that you especially idolized? Well, my favorite all time was Dave Keelan. Uh, you know, mentioned Toronto. I mean, in, in Canada, you were going to get most of the time. Well, where I lived, we got two channels, so you. Saturday night, you either got Montreal or Toronto, and uh, I was a Toronto fan, so Dave Keon and Norm Allman, Ron Ellis, the likes of those guys were guys that uh, were my favorite players. My older brother liked Ray Bork, so I had Ray Bork. I kind of stole that from him a little bit. A uh, good uh, two-way defenseman. Steve Eisman and Mario Lemieux, Mario Lemieux were kind of my guys. Uh, my uncle played junior with Steve Eisman, so I actually, when I was like 9 or 10 years old, I had a cool moment where I get to go down and meet him after one of the games and I still have a picture and uh, I got a picture with him. Any posters on the wall? Uh, yeah, I did have a poster actually. Uh, uh, right uh, uh, on top of my uh, on top of my bed. Getting to play against some of them now that, that you're just growing up, just have the biggest biggest star eyes when I first got here about you know being guys next to like Spezza and playing guys like Yager and all those out there. Um, Ed Jovanovski was my favorite player growing up and he was in Florida my first year here um, where I played an exhibition game against Florida, but he wasn't dressed. So, you know, that whole day I was just hoping he'd be in the lineup too to play against him. Do you ever think about these kids that come up go, oh my God, I'm playing against Jason Spezza? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's funny. Every once in a while I get a guy that says like, oh, you're my favorite player. <laughs> you know, it kind of makes you stop and take notice a little bit. But, 
Yeah, it's I guess the cycle of the sport. So uh, it's nice to, to hear when guys appreciate your game. You take this kid from a small town in Western Canada, and you finally get to play in a you know in a league that you never thought you'd play in. Uh, that was a wow moment. It was uh, you know something you'll never forget. I'll never forget. And here I'm standing beside my idol, and and I'm I look uh, I go oh no you know he, uh, okay I, I looked at him and and he just. You know, I looked at him and I thought, we're going to have to fight right away as soon as the puck drops. And so I just looked at him and he looked at Kenny Lindsman and he looked at me and he said, Kenny, you're on your own. And that was awesome for me. <laughs> so anyway, it was, uh, it was sort of great. You know, hockey's got so many great memories and you just, you know, start thinking about these things. And uh, there's no better game on the planet and I'm very glad to be a part of it still. And that was sure fun being a player. Thanks so much, Owen. Oh, you gotta love hearing those memories, and especially from Lindy Ruff and Kurt Frazier, too, who spent a lot of time in and around the National Hockey League.